Hi, my name's Rebecca Martin. I'm Flood Resilience Team Leader here in York. My team looks after this incident room and the duty officers that operate out of here. The duty officers are on call 24-7, 365 days a year and have to be trained and competent to do their role and that's my team's job. So now we're going to hear from some of our duty officers who are going to tell you a bit about their role in managing incidents in Yorkshire. Uh, my name's Stephanie Renault and I'm the Area Based Controller or ABC in the York office. ABC is effectively um, responsible for the Environment Agency's uh, tactical response, I suppose you'd say, to any incident. So it's a cross-functional role, so we look at after floods, uh, pollution, fires, fish kill, all manner of things, business continuity incidents, that kind of stuff. Um, and the role's a 24-hour duty role, so one week in eight I'm available 24 hours a day to deal with any of those incidents. I haven't had a previous um, duty role. I came into the agency as the um, emergency planning manager for North Yorkshire County Council. So I was used to dealing with responses to incidents and so it was felt the ABC role was probably the best fit for my skills at the time. Uh, my day job is involved with incident management but it's very much about processes and policies and how we deal with things across the organisation at arm's length to some extent. So the opportunity to have an incident role that's very much hands-on is absolutely excellent as far as I'm concerned. Um, and the ABC role Role, I just find fits with the things that I like to do. It's about making sure that you've got a good situational awareness, you understand what's going on, lots of communication with lots of people, the opportunity to really get into some really meaty kind of decision making and complex questions, often with fairly tight timescales or limited information. Um, and so the opportunity to do something different to the day job is absolutely brilliant. My name is Mark Fuller and I've been working at the Environment Agency for 20 years and I've had a flood incident response role for, for 20 years now. I am a FIDO, a flood incident duty officer, and uh, my role is to be the interim person between getting river levels, understanding what's happening with the rivers regarding to flood risk, and relating that into what needs to happen on the ground. Hi, I'm Paul Monaghan, and I am a field operations duty officer. So a FODO uh, is the field operations duty officer, and in an incident they work with the, the FIDO, which is the flood incident duty officer, um, and they take instructions from the FIDO, um, and work with the field teams to ensure that those instructions are delivered. During a flood, we're based in the incident room um, at Foss House, uh, working with the rest of the duty team, the ABC, the FWDO, the rest of the, the, the duty team. And we then take the river level information and we turn it into operational response on the ground. So we've got another set of people working on the ground who actually close our gates, manage our pumping stations, do everything we want to do. As Fodo, um, it very much is responsibility of the, of the operatives that are in the field, so you're, you are their contact point within the incident room, so they're, they're reliant on you to find out what's going on. Um, then also you're also responsible to make sure that they understand what is required of them, and making sure that they're, they're, they're aware of the risks that, that they're going under and, and specifically that site potentially where there might be risk for them. Having been a FIDO for 20 years, I've been involved in some fairly big flood events back in 2000 and obviously the 2015 flood events. It can be quite stressful, it could be quite challenging, but it is ultimately a rewarding role to have uh, and I get quite a lot out of it and it's very good to put it back into my day job to, to help me do, to do what I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. As a photo, I find it quite a rewarding role because um, you see a real direct impact of your actions where operating our pumping stations or closing gates and, or sandbagging areas so I suppose the, the, real, the real bit of, that I find interesting and, and, and rewarding is the fact that you are directly stopping people flooding. I'm Alison Harrison, I'm an MDO, which is an Environment Management Duty Officer in Yorkshire. As an MDO, I'm responsible for taking um, incident calls from our incident communication services um, for me to assess them and decide whether we need to respond to those incidents or not. So the kind of incidents that we might get through as an MDO would um, well vary considerably from polluted matter entering a water course, which may cause fish kill. The polluted matter could be sort of oil, slurries, chemicals, anything like that that could cause impact to the fish or to to habitats themselves um, and also kind of the big scale fire that we might have at a permitted site such as the Great Heck fire. I work with the ABC, um, the Area Base Controller and the other duty officers. There are instances where we have um, a big incident which may cause impact to air, land, groundwater, water courses such as if there's a big fire at a permitted site you have the smoke release, um, you may have um, spillage going to the ground and that's when we work closely with our other internal um, teams and we've got to try and manage those risks and work with other agencies to try and um, well mitigate as much as possible. 
My name's Kim Tan and I'm a Flood Warning Duty Officer within the Flood Resilience Team in York. During an incident, I will be the one who's monitoring the river levels, interpreting that information, so looking at whether we think that river levels or sea levels are going to be high enough to affect properties, affect infrastructure like roads. My name is Vicky Ragg and I'm an Assistant Flood Warning Duty Officer here in York. I'm responsible for working closely with the Flood Warning Duty Officer who is monitoring levels. Once we get to a, an act consider trigger level, then they script the messages and we issue those messages out on the flood warning service. I work very closely with the monitoring and forecasting duty officer who will give me all sorts of information. If the incident room isn't already open, we are on call 24 hours a day. We will be getting things like alarms that are generated from our telemetry on the coast or in rivers. When we do get alarms, we have to go online and have a look at what's going on out there and make a decision about whether we need to issue flood warnings or flood alerts or other actions like getting operational staff to go out and operate flood defences or operate flood defences remotely. There are two assistant flood warning duty officers because we have a number of flood warnings that we need to um, issue across uh, the Yorkshire area. Being a duty officer is really rewarding. It's uh, the one part of our job where it brings all of the different teams together to make sure that we respond to incidents as they happen so we are trained and ready to respond. There's a great deal of responsibility involved in this role, making sure that we issue flood warnings on time, effectively and accurately, but knowing that we're able to help people prepare for flooding, to help them protect their property and their livelihoods from flooding is the most rewarding thing about doing that job.